Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the this error message in Microsoft Word. It says Word cannot save changes to the global template because it was opened with read-only access. And that's a really bad error message. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's uh, very, very annoying and persisting. And it happens almost every time when you want to close your uh, Microsoft Word and the only way to get rid of this is to click on no but next time you will open word and close it again it will come with the same error message so it's the old version of windows or the old version of microsoft word there was an option to prevent this dialogue uh, from being posted but with the new windows version it looks like there is no such uh, temporarily relief to that problem so we have to really solve the problem and it's not too difficult usually in 90% of the cases it should work so what can we do when we are now I mean I have already closed my document but uh, Microsoft Word is still open so before I close it I go to file I click on that go down to options here on the left side and then we have to go to add-ins so here you see that add-ins and here at the bottom there is manage com add uh, add-ins there are diff different options but we need the com add-ins and click on go and what we do we disable everything or at least everything what we need usually there are some badly written uh, add-ins and when you disable all of them there's a probably 90 or 95 percent chance that you will get rid of this message and yeah we can then click on ok and of course we have to reboot windows uh, word a uh, microsoft word and try if it works uh it, yeah if, if it solves the problem if it solves the problem you can even go again and click on file and options again and go to the add-ins and activate these plugins and usually in a lot of cases or probably most uh, most cases even when you reactivate them it will still work so it looks like this is some kind of bug maybe even with within word microsoft word i don't know i mean at least in my case it worked even after reactivating this com add-ins uh yeah maybe in some of the cases you would have to leave them off maybe you can just leave uh, off uh, the ones which you are not using or you are not trusting maybe this is uh, uh, like from Adobe Acrobat yeah I think this one you could use but it, it, it's up to you to decide probably you don't need any of these except maybe yeah PDF when you want to create PDFs out of Microsoft Word but usually you in most of the cases you probably don't need them so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time